Hi, my name is Raman Mirov. Have you noticed that Omega T 3.0 includes many new features, but you're still not sure about how to put them to use? Watch this video to get a grasp of some of the new features, including the changes in the text or dialogue and within the editor. The text search dialog has been revamped. The search in file section now displays at the top. I can conveniently select between searching in the project or in the files. This is more intuitive than ever before. When I search in a project, I now have three general options to select from. The new memory checkbox enables me to search just in the source files and the project's translation memory. That means the project save TMX. For example, this search result comes just from the source file. The TMS checkbox has the same function as in the previous versions. The only thing that changed is that it's been moved to this new section. Now this search results come just from the translation memory in the TM subfolder of the project. The glossaries checkbox is a completely new function that allows me to search in the glossaries as well. First of all, adding the glossary into a search mix gives me a bigger picture of what's happening in a project. For example, when the glossary and TM have different translations for a term, I can notice this immediately and choose the correct one, while previously I would see only one version of the translation. The new search is also very helpful with larger glossaries, such as the Microsoft Glossary. When I search in it through the text search dialog, I get much more useful results than the glossary pane might provide. One, two, three, four results from the Microsoft Glossary. Of course, if I want to get the results from all the three sources, I can enable all the three checkboxes. This comes from the source file, this comes from the translation memory, and this one comes from the Glossary. Okay, now search in files. When I select searching in the files, the other options are conveniently grayed out. This option enables me to browse to a folder and search within the files in that folder. For example, this search result comes from a file located in that folder. Another new option here is the translated checkbox. As the name implies, the search returns the results only from those segments that are already in the project's translation memory. For example, when I search for CMS with this checkbox disabled, I get the search results from all the segments, whether translated or untranslated. But when I enable this checkbox, I get just one result from the only translated segment.
If I repeat the search with this checkbox disabled, I can see that these three segments do not have any translation yet, which is the reason why they don't come up in the search results. That's it for the search options. Let's take a look at the few improvements related to the editor pane. I can move to the next untranslated segment by selecting next untranslated segment under the go to menu or pressing Control plus U. But what if I want to move to the next translated segment? In this example, I have a lot of untranslated segments in the project that I want to skip because these numbers don't require translation. I want to jump to this translated segment, skipping all those numbers before it. Now I can do this with a convenient function called go to next untranslated segment under the go to menu or the control plus shift plus u shortcut. Alright, now it's easier to select the matches in the fuzzy matches pane because the shortcut became more intuitive. While previously I could only press control plus the number of the match, for example control plus one, control plus two or control plus three. I can now also press control plus arrow up or down to switch between the matches, like this. And when I'm done selecting, I can insert the match into the target segment. Now, if I want to use a machine translation output for an entire project rather than for just the current segment, I can create a TMX with the MT output. The latest version of Omega T can remind me whenever I insert a match that comes from this TMX. To do so, I need to put the respective TMX into a subfolder named MT in the translation memory folder. Here it is. When I insert an MT match, This is an MT match that comes from that file that I just showed. When I insert an MT match, the background of the active segment changes to red. As soon as I edit the segment, the background color becomes normal. If I simply leave the segment and then return, the background is gone as well. All right. With the three video reviews of Omega T3.0, I've covered almost all of the improvements. If you missed any of the previous videos, you can find the links to them under this video. If you are already using the latest version, make sure to share your experience or ask questions in the comments. Thank you for your time. Bye.